just finally ready to get started. This has been a, a long time coming. We started this process just trying to buy this place a long time ago. So the fact that we're finally here, day one, early in 2021, this is, uh, it's been a long time coming. So I'm ready to get started. All right, let's see what has got going on here. So I think my first thought was originally, um, you know, I, I went into this with a, as someone that's not used to demo and construction and, uh, you know, timelines in, in that world, you know, everything in my world happens so much quicker, right? Like things are just go, 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 go. Um, so when I got into it and it was like, hey, this is going to take a week, not 24 hours, that would kind of, you know, that, that can be a little bit of a surprise when you're expecting things to be done so quick, right? You know, my, my initial thought was, yeah, we'll get in here, pay this money, it'll be, it'll be done in 25 days, we'll open up and it'll all be good. And that just wasn't the case, right? And you go in and you see so much happen on day one and it, it you're like, this is definitely going to happen, right? We're going to get in here, we're going to, you know, 25 days from now, I'll be open and it's, it's going to be so worth it. It'll be a fun 20 day documentary and what we'll call it a day. Um, but that, that, like I said, that was one thing that I, I quickly had to take a step back on because it just, those things take time with, with, with permits. Um, and that, that, that was the most frustrating part of it all was there was just nothing you could do to make it go any faster. This is 3455, right? Yeah. 34. Sounds right. I think. Should probably, should probably figure that out. <laughs> it, it, it taught me patience, right? You know, I've learned that throughout my card collecting career that, you know, things don't happen overnight. Think, good things take time. Um, but on this, I was, you know, trying to jump the gun as much as I could. And it just uh, it definitely taught me some patience on it.
Every day in, in the shop is just so hectic, right? There's just, with, with, with so many employees and the grading and the, the shop and the buying, selling, trading and the content and the messages and the emails online, it just, going in there every day was, was just, it was a getaway, right? It was go in there and let's see how much closer your dream is to being built, right? Because that was one thing I really wanted to, um, I got good advice from the start was like, enjoy the process because like, if this goes as well as we want it to, this is my opportunity to build my dream card store. Like, we don't need a second one. We don't need a third one. This is the time to build it. So while it may not happen as quickly as I like, or it may not, you know, um, yeah, it may not happen as quickly as I like, this is still the time to build my dream card store. This is what I worked so hard to get to was the ability to own my own building. To, to own my own card store and to build my dream card store. Um, so going in there every day and just seeing a little bit more, right? One step closer to what I worked so hard to, to achieve that it was just so rewarding. We've got the, the flooring picked out, the flooring has been ordered, so we should have that hopefully here in a week to 10 days or so, and then that will be installed. Um, that's really gonna be the last major key uh, to be completed up here. That will really let us know that the upstairs is really close to completion. Um, so we've got that in the works now. Painting started earlier today. Primer's been put uh, all on every single wall, and the first wall has been painted. So we've got that done. So we made some progress there. So again, we're not gonna open up until everything's ready. I don't want, uh, we still wanna have things in different places. So we're gonna basically make sure um, just all systems are in play before we before we really make those changes. So um, yeah, at this point, it's, you guys can see it's kind of a mess here. So um, getting things completed and like I said, making a lot of good progress. samples and um, I wanted something darker right I like the whole dark dark gray floor or, or you know black floor with white trim and gray walls like dark that's that's what I wanted um, and she just swore that the the gray the darker floors you know Dustin or you know the guy that runs our shop most of the time would have to clean it every day because it would be it would be dirty so you know, we, I went around and got some floor samples. She went around and got some floor samples. And uh, you know, I just never realized buying flooring would be as difficult as it was, as, as a decision as it was. The floor is beautiful. You see, you got some black in here, you got some gray, and you got a little bit of brown, so it's gonna go great with the card bar. Not really selling it, but. <laughs> I tried. He wanted black, but we're going with this because the wife makes the rules. Um, and of course she came in and asked all of our employees like which one they like and you know, made sure to preface that she liked this one more than others. And you know, I knew very well my employees weren't gonna tell her that the one she liked wasn't the best one. So of course she asked them all loaded question, but she'll never admit to that. So yeah, I ended up going with the one she liked. It, it, it turned out, it turned out good. So I like it now, but yeah, it was, it was certainly her choice and she'll, she'll make sure she tells you it was her choice.
going in there and, and, and seeing the progress David had made, you know, from day one, you know, because we weren't in there every day. So one day you'd see something and then you'd come back three days later and it was so much more progress. You're like, wow, they did this, this, and this. This is great. So it, it was really cool to, to see it, like I said, um, you know, periodically rather than, you know, seeing it the whole process each day. I got to see it in bits and bits and pieces and that just, that, that, was, that was really fun. trim is in, the walls are painted, so everything upstairs is finally starting to come together. Now the big project this week is going to be doing the card bar. David is starting that. Um, we've kind of drawn it all out how we wanted it. Again, we kind of mentioned that in the original video. We're going to have an L here and then kind of corner it to the wall there. So should be in total, I think right around 35, 40 feet of, of card bar. So as we bought our building and we got that finalized, I quickly saw like, you know, the, there's a lot of space in here. We got to fill it with something, and um, showcases are cool, but they're just—they're not super—they're not super big, and they don't catch your attention. And you know, Jimmy had kind of incorporated that into one, and I was like, I want to do the same thing. Um, so that was the intention: was to build this massive card bar where you could sit down, you could open your boxes if you wanted to. We'd have seating for that elsewhere, but um, you'd have built-in showcases to it, so you could basically be ripping boxes and on below it would be would be cards and again that idea was strictly from jimmy um but what we wanted to do outside of that was you know have a spot where we could where you could bring in deals and we could look at a deal at the specific spot and there would be a specific spot for the register and then you'd have a showcase um like a bigger showcase spot built in so um, it was just this massive eye catcher for a plethora of different things but with, with, with the focus being on, you know, uh, just coming in, hanging out, and, and, and enjoying your time in the, in the shop. Yeah, we're gonna get this card bar framed out, um, get the height where Ryan wants it, get the overhang where Ryan wants it, um, and then from there we'll start putting some skin around it, uh, AKA plywood. There's been a couple of things I've had to change along the way, right? You know, uh, certain, originally they were they were too close together, so the space between them to, to walk was was tight, so we had to adjust that, make it a little easier to get through. And then the space from the, the card bar to the wall um, had to be adjusted because if we were gonna put shelving back there for the boxes to be on, there wouldn't be enough for like one person to walk through without hitting their, you know, their shoulder on the boxes or hitting the card bar, so we had to adjust that. Um, we wanted to include lighting on it, so you could kind of kind of build that in. So so far, it, lo it looks looks pretty good. I'm I'm excited to see what it, what it'll look like when it's completed. The glass is in, the the showcases are built in, it's stained, you know, it's finished and ready to go. But right now, I I, I love the way it's turned out. This is probably going to be a logo. Yeah. Right here, and then you're going to put that board right here. Okay. So that's part. So there'll be a board there and the logo here. So I'm just thinking like a maybe a mat, even like a just a uh, more of like a uh, a water mat here, and then you can do a logo mat here. So right when they walk in, 
they can wipe their feet. Or we don't have a set date because we have a store now. So it's allowed us to be more patient because, you know, I have a spot for customers to buy, sell, and trade at now, you know, right across the street, and I don't need to rush open. So this is, that's where the patience has come in, where it's like, I need to pump the brakes, slow down, and make sure it's exactly how I want it. Because with as busy as we are, and as many people have come in, it's, it makes it tough to close it down and change everything. Whereas now, if we just do it exactly how we want it, you don't have to do those things later. So, you know, while the space we have now is tight, very tight, especially on the weekends, you know, use that with what you use, what you have now and take the time to build out the new shop exactly how you want it. Because, you know, you have the time now, use it and, and, and make it as exactly how I want it. So when that we open up, it's perfect. The top one doesn't have to have single cards in it. You could put blaster boxes, helmets, helmets, footballs, any sort of retail could go in that where you're right. not carrying something heavy off. Like if you've got, you know, five by five, you've got 10, ten boxes. full boxes of retail. Yeah. You could put all that different retail. You're gonna need somewhere to put it. Sure. While this has taken a while, you're you're still I, I still got a lot to get done. So, you know. Our whole focus originally was which flooring do we like? Which color do we want on the walls? You know, what's the card bar going to look like? Now it's like, hey, those things are there and you forgot where are the box is going to go. Where are you going to put single cards at? Where are the signed jerseys going to go? What shelving are you going to put the, the, the supplies on? What stain are you going to make the card bar? Where are you going to get the TV? What's going to go under the TV? How's the TV going to mount? Like the little things. The big things originally, the bigger projects were such a focus. Now we're so close to being open and it's like, you don't realize how many little things you need to do along the way to get all of these things together to open. So that's basically where we're at at this point is just getting all of these little things done, but there's a lot of them. And that's where we're at at this point. Yeah. So just be those shelves all the way down, these and those, and then I'll work on getting the cabinets over there. So we talked about, I ever tell you about the table we talked about putting right here? Down the middle? Yeah. Yes. So we talked when we were here last about maybe doing like two six foot tables with a gap in between so people could walk through and we could have tables on the end. Found a couple, but since we've got gray, black, and the brown stain, yeah. what we're thinking about doing is ordering legs and like six, two foot by six foot butcher block and just paying you to stain them, put them together, and then just put them right in the middle. Wait, you said whatever this is, double it? I'm just saying go from here to the sequel. Yeah, equal. Okay. Yeah, equal. And as far as you don't want to go all the way to the wall, so do you know where you want to stop? Equal distance on the same on the same side from here to here. So if it's, can I see a bigger piece? Six, I guess I need a bigger piece. Six inches in. No, you're good, you're good. Um, something like that. Okay. And what, again, match Whatever it up. It is, yeah. 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 So if it's three inches, four and a half inches there, four and a half inches there. Okay. Something like that. Gotcha. So one right here, one here, and then one here. The last you know, 60 days have been a process that has tested my patience, um, it's taught me patience, but um, it has definitely uh, opened my eyes up to the process. So, you know, we, we got a card bar built, we've got flooring in, walls are painted, trim is, trim's good, right? Like we're, we're, we're ready to, Finalize it, put product in here, and open it.
All right, so we're four, five days away from opening. We're in the new spot now, and we're just, we're gonna come down to the wire with it. And I don't think that was what we had, you know, that certainly wasn't the hope, right, is to come two months over schedule and still not, and still be this close um, to open with without things done. So I'm, I'm hopeful that come Tuesday morning, everything is, 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 is ready to go and we can open Tuesday at, at noon and not have any issues.